Welcome back to my channel, Psychic Goddess Erica, back with another Pick a Card reading. Today's Pick a Card reading is going to be, but when? So this is about anything that you're curious about in regards to when is it going to happen or when is it going to come to fruition or when will you get whatever it is that you're wondering about if it is to happen the reason i say if is because of course future is not set in stone energy is always changing so we'll be looking into that today and um as always go ahead and like the video as you come in don't forget to well remember to subscribe i'm working on removing don't forget from my vocabulary remember to subscribe like comment and share today i'm working with the Archer's Love Oracle Deck, created by me. The Archer's Answers Oracle Deck, created by me. And if you're interested in either of those, the information on where you can go to get these will be below in the description. Um, also, I did take out um, the only the cards that I felt um, were in alignment with this particular picket card today. Remember, this is 100 cards, so you can you don't have to use the whole deck if you know that you're only looking for like a time frame or a yes or no type of energy. I'm also working with the Muse Tarot and the and the Amenti Oracle. So go ahead and start thinking about what you're curious, the question that you have, your inquiry in terms of when is it going to happen. Go ahead and start thinking about that question in your mind now. Set the intention and we are going to go over to the pick a card selection right now. Okay, go ahead and take three deep breaths. Tap into your intuition because remember your intuition is increased. You have to trust your own intuition and psychic ability to choose a pick a card to get the option that will resonate with you. Over here with the Bastet Chalice. This is going to be for card one right here with the protection oil this is going to be card two right here with the protection candle this is going to be card three and right here with horse this is going to be card four all right those of you who chose card one with the bastet chalice and I have some seltzer water, some lime seltzer water in here programmed with an intention for prosperity because limes are green. Anyway, you know how I do. Um, so those of you who chose card one, we're going to be pulling the cards um, live today, live on video, you could say. So let's go ahead and jump on in. Those of you who chose card one, let's go ahead and see when is it going to happen. Whatever it is that you are thinking of. So I'm going to be pulling the time frame first and then the additional messages that you need to know about it. So stay tuned till the end of your reading card one. Let's see what's going on. Truth be told, remember this is a general reading. So take what resonates, release what doesn't. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information on where you can go to do that is below in the description. And we, you guys have a jumper message. So first off, they say no time soon. This doesn't mean not ever, just not soon, not not on your timing. So more so divine timing. I know a lot of you don't like to hear that, but let's see if we can get another message. If it is to happen, when would it be? Asking for a time frame, truth be told. And again, I'm saying if, because, future is not set in stone, energy is always changing. If it is to happen, when would it be? For card one, truth be told. It's a no for now. So again, they're saying no for right now. I'm getting this energy that it's definitely further off in time for you guys. Let's see. I'm going to keep going till they give a time frame, but they are just letting you know in advance that it's not necessarily going to happen soon, not necessarily on your timing. Okay, so I feel like there's a reason I looked at my watch just then. There, 11.52 is the time where I'm at when I'm recording this. And um, the message on it here is also sunset is 8 p.m. in 8 hours and 7 minutes. 
So I don't think they wanted me to see the time. I think they wanted me to see that message on my watch, Apple Watch, about the sunset. So I want you guys to look up angel number 887. Look up angel number 887. I feel like that was for you for some reason. And then also if you have cards yourself, you can pull a message on what angel number or spirit number 887 wants you to know at this time. For those that chose card one, when is it going to happen? If it is to happen, truth be told. Okay. We have a time frame if it is to happen, because remember this is general for some of you, it will eventually come into fruition within six to nine months. So anywhere between now, the time frame that you are watching this video and six to nine months from now, the time frame that you, the date that you're watching this video. So you may wanna make a note, um, put it in a notebook, a journal, or write yourself a note on your phone and email it to yourself. Anywhere between today's date that you are watching this video and six to nine months from now is likely for some of you. For others of you, the reason that they kept delaying not no time soon no for now the other message was please move on so i think what spirit is saying is do not dwell on this they don't want you to dwell on this they don't want you to keep asking they don't want you to keep worrying please move on i keep hearing move on keep it moving so it doesn't mean to give up it just means stop dwelling just keep living your life enjoying the present enjoying the now if it's meant to happen what's for you is for you and if it is to happen, it would happen within six to nine months from now. Now let's get your added messages. Card one. Let's see what else they want you to know. Let's go jump into the tar tarot. <clears throat> what does card one need to know in terms of the messages in regards to the question that they have? For when they're wondering, what messages do you need to know? Truth be told. Okay, so the magician. So you guys need to know that or remember and recall that you hold the power to manifest your reality. If you want something or if you want to change your life in terms of what you're seeing, what you're being presented, it's important to remember that your reality as you see it or perceive it is a projection projection of your own subconscious so you can shift your reality by shifting your mindset by shifting your perspective by shifting your views and also knowing your power utilizing your manifestation ability and the law of attraction know your power you can man it's time to manifest the change in your world um and this is also probably why there it's like not happening soon for you guys whatever it is you're questioning about is because there's something within you that needs to change in order to manifest and to take hold of your power even further and also to trust the divine timing of the universe too because again sometimes certain things that you may want may not necessarily be the best thing for you and you and sometimes it's, it could be a good thing for you, but it's just, it needs more time to develop or there's more lessons that you need to be taught along the way to pick up new skills or new knowledge or things like that. And also along with it on the bottom of the deck is the Empress. So it's kind of like, the Empress energy is kind of like, um, like pregnancy energy. So for some of you, um, this is symbolic of, it's not ready to be birthed out yet whatever it is you're wondering about or whatever it is you're wanting to take place it's still in the pregnancy process which means it's still being formed and for others of you this could be a literal message that um either you or your partner or somebody else close to you is pregnant or will soon be pregnant and that's why you don't really see it happening or like in full effect until further off in time within what was it six to nine months I gotta look again i put it down within six to nine months from now to see those results if that's making sense so i'm just gonna leave the empress out here let's go ahead and get your message with the archer's love oracle and again this is not necessarily just about romantic love whatever message regarding from a place of love from self-love or romantic love that needs to come through will come through so what does card one need to know in regards to their question that they are wondering about truth be told sorry cut the cord there's something that needs to be let go of whether this is an, uh, an attachment that you have to someone whether this is an attachment that you have it to an idea, whether this is an attachment that you have to us having to happen in a certain timing, whether it is attachment to something within yourself, a mindset, a memory, 
um, a past event that you keep replaying in your head, whatever it is, it's time to cut the cord and so that the universe can bring what's best for you so that the energy can further flow. So, um, and I do also see something is tied to money struggles with an influence in this. This could be your money struggles. This could be somebody else involves money struggles, um, things like that. And I also feel like they're saying it's tied to cutting the cord with money struggles. So for some of you, if you've been wondering about when is more money and prosperity gonna pick up, um, it's likely to happen within six to nine months from now. So spirit is wanting you to cut the cord to your poverty mindset or your unhealthy relationship to money or unhealthy views to money and to please move on from the old way of thinking and the old way of worry and fear and doing things in regards to money. For some of you, you actually need to end a connection with somebody or a group of people or maybe even a job in your life because it's draining you, it's depleting you and it's not um, you're not leaving in yourself value and self-worth so therefore it's creating money struggles closing room of money is just energy so if you're not treating yourself right and if you're um giving your time and energy to things that are sucking from you uh, ener energy vampire energy whether it's a person a group of people or a environment then um it's time to cut the cord or take a break from it or space from it so you can please move on from that vibration so that you can heal these money struggles and manifest more prosperity for yourself coming um within six to nine months from now so whoever needed to hear that message that was for you take what resonates release what doesn't um let's go ahead and get your close out message with the aminti oracle for those of you who chose card one truth be told i feel like it's about to be an important message because the little message sound just came through and that's always a sign of spirit saying message pay attention for those that chose card one what else do they need to know in regards to their question truth be told i converse with awareness so it's almost <laughs> i heard spirit say before you open your mouth know what you're talking about so self-awareness is key so before you have a certain conversation before you put a view or perspective out there before you address um something either verbally or writ or written make sure you've educated yourself fully but also are fully in touch with who you are your full awareness your beliefs so i'm just hearing them say make sure you're doing your shadow work um to come into alignment with all sides of yourself to have the self-awareness so that you can converse with awareness and also like all different perspectives, different views of all sides of things, having seen the light and the dark side of things, if that makes sense. Having understanding of why your experiences um, have gotten you to this point. And I'm also hearing that there's a need to take accountability for your own life and to quit blaming others for where your life is at right now. And the sooner you cut the cord from some of those things and flee to move on from it, those things that are not serving you, then again, you'll be manifesting like the magician and giving birth like the empress to these new beginnings um, within six to nine months from now. Also, and so some of you, it could happen sooner. I'm saying within six to nine months, so anywhere between now and six to nine months from now, um, from whenever you're seeing this video. Also, some of you, this cut the cord energy and please move on. I'm hearing is about generational trauma, especially if you are someone who's expecting a child or your partner's expecting a child or someone close to you. Break the generational curses. It's time so that that's not continued on moving forward and converse with awareness. Also, for those of you, who chose card one um hummingbird energy is around you see this hummingbird so one of your animal guides right now is a hummingbird you may want to um look into the spiritual symbolism of a hummingbird because that is also at play within your message so if this reading resonated with you you're always welcome to tip by buying me a coffee the information for that is below in the description Please comment below how this reading resonated with you if it did. And remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye, card one. Hey, those of you who chose card two, let's go with the protection oil. Let's go ahead and see when is it going to happen, whatever it is you're asking about, whatever you're, it is you're wondering about. Truth be told, 
if it is to happen because remember oh future is not set in stone energy is always changing okay so i have a message for you guys i'll get to in a moment we already have a jumper um and again remember this is a general message so take what resonates release what doesn't if you would like to book a personal reading with me the information on where you can go to do that will be down below in the description so before i get a time frame the first message that already popped out is the message of allow endings so for those of you who chose card two um in regards to whatever it, whatever it is you're asking about or considering there's an ending that needs to happen first a release of something that needs to happen first um closing of an old chapter that needs to happen first now only you trust your intuition on what this is for some of you this is actually letting go of the thing that you're questioning about so that the real energy that embodies your true desire aside from the attachment to what you think you want so that that real energy can come through once you allow the endings of the actual thing you're asking about to happen because uh, and for others of you this is about a need to allow endings to a mindset that you may have or another um situation or relationship or chapter or even perspective memory or mindset that you have about something so that this can finally come through as a breakthrough now let's get a time frame for those of you who chose card two oh, that was too many if it is to happen when would it happen truth be told Within six to nine months what's this okay we got a yes a confirmation and another message of let go so if you can let go of something then yes the true essence of what it is you're questioning and wondering about will come through within six to nine months from now from now meaning whatever day that you are watching this video so you may want to take a note in your journal or a notebook or write it on your phone and email yourself the today's date from whenever you're watching this and within six to nine months mean it could be anywhere between now and six to nine months from now um for this to happen we are getting a yes and um again uh, the let go and allow ending so some of you guys really need to surrender a mindset about something or maybe surrender it to thinking it has to happen at a certain time or maybe surrender to divine timing also some of you need to let go and allow endings of the actual thing specific thing you're wondering about because maybe something better is in store that yes we'll have a breakthrough within six to nine months and it carries more of the energy that you are wanting and desiring or that is best for you and for others of you this is again like i said you're going to get what it is you're wondering about and what you're asking about yes within six to nine months from now whenever you're watching this video um but there's an, an another ending of something a mindset or a situation or a connection with someone or something or an environment that you need to let go of and allow endings to so let's go ahead and see what other messages are coming up for card two in regards to your inquiry sorry i'm like all over the place let's get your tarot message for card two what else do you need to know in regards to your question, your inquiry, truth be told. Ooh, mm. You guys are um, struggling a little bit because my energy was like, it was kind of hard to shuffle just now and then I'm knocking things around. So I, I'm hearing spirits say you guys really need to go with the flow more. And stop trying to control everything. Let's see what else comes through. And uh, some of you, I mean, you're probably one. Like, I don't try to control everything. Yes, you do. You may not realize it. And that's why that may be the endings or the, the letting go that needs to happen for you. Trusting more. Divine timing. Trusting that what's for you will be for you. What else do you need to know? Card two, let's go with these that wanted to come out. Let's start off with the bottom of the deck though, because I feel like I'm supposed to. So um, the muse of inspiration. Now I'm not sure if this is connected to like quote unquote traditional tarot, the um, Rider Waite Smith deck, or if this is just like an additional message in the tarot for this deck muse of inspiration so what i'm hearing from this is a lot of you are going to have new ideas new inspiration flowing to you and it's time to trust it and to walk the road that is leading you to a new beginning 
Some of you may struggle, be struggling with your new version of self and your old version of self because you see there's two, it's the same person here. At least that's how I'm seeing this image. You may be, but you need to embrace it and become one with it, but still continue to move forward into a new direction because your old version of self is what has gotten you this far but you're supposed to reinvent yourself you're supposed to be changing and evolving so it's time to incorporate that new version of self no longer living in the past but knowing and understanding that you're supposed to change and it's okay to change to walk in this new path in this new direction when you feel this inspiration these new ideas coming through and i feel the universe is going to be sending you messages a lot of you may also have a special connection to egypt or um, ancient comedic um culture and you see there's a pyramid here right in between and this person is like walking towards it so some of you need to embrace some of that energy some of you may have a special connection to certain e egyptian um deities that uh you should be working with um that's coming up as well now let's get the other cards coming through the seven of inspiration this is giving me this is the seven of inspiration giving me seven of wands energy so i'm getting this of like what i'm hearing them say is to hold your head up high to to not back down to not give up and know that you're not easily defeated because it is a time to stand your ground. It is a time to stand true to your standards and your beliefs. It is a time to um, express what you feel like you need to express um, and know your worth, know your value. Because, um, again, you hold strong power and a breakthrough is coming. You are about to bust through into a breakthrough. But patience is required because we also have the temperance card. So, again you guys are in this process of becoming something new and creating something new and so it's not going to be an overnight process they're also talking about there's a need for patience trusting in divine timing to pour into your own self make sure you're taking care of you first but also looking at you first worrying about you first before wor wondering about others before wondering worrying about what others have or what they've got or what they're doing or how they are impacting you focus on you worry about you how can you fix you how can you become a better version of you so that you can get the things that you want because um, it is a transformation process so it's kind of like a cocoon stage for a lot of you where um you're not yet the full-on butterfly yet maybe that's why i'm getting that breakthrough you will eventually bust through that cocoon transformed but it's not just yet let's go ahead and get your message with the archer's love oracle and again remember this is not just rom romantic this deck is for anything in relation to the energy of love the vibration of love it could also be from self-love or romantic you know it could be any of those things so we have two jumpers we'll go with that what did i just say energy of love so i think what spirit is already saying is to make sure if you're going to go in a certain direction or do something make sure you are acting from the energy of love and that you are not um acting from ego like make sure that where you're coming from is coming from the energy of love and not stemming from a place of fear or anxiety or some sort of attachment wound or trauma bond or some sort of a trying to fill a void um however that resonates make sure it's coming from a place of the energy of love and, and not even like control um make sure it's coming from a place of energy of love also make sure that you are um making sure you still love the path that you're on or learn to love the path that you are on is what spirit is saying during this transformation process of you being in this cocoon stage um things like that but let's go ahead and see what else is going on so you do have some challenging times coming up, but these challenging times are not going to break you. Break you, they're going to make you. Again, you think it's easy for a caterpillar to survive with all the threats of nature out there and the elements and even people and today's world, it could easily get squished. But again, stay true, stay strong, go into your little cocoon and Spirit is saying it may have some challenges for you to get there, but eventually you can be, be the butterfly at the end, basically. Um, 
and transformed and also travel. You know, it's time to travel in a new path, a new direction. Some of you, this may mean actual literal travel is called for in terms of like um, a vacation or a new environment or uh, some of you need to actually relocate somewhere or change, a, change your environment completely. And for some of you, this is a need to travel in a new direction um, in terms of how you've been handling things. It's time to take a new path altogether so that you can get what it is you're wondering about. Some of you, this could be somebody else involved that is traveling or moving in a different direction, either literally um, in the physical sense or in the symbolic sense of where they are in their journey. But either way, movement should be happening. It's not a time to remain stagnant. It may feel like you're remaining stagnant at, stagnant at times, but actually there's still tra traveling happening behind the scenes because of this transformation process. I'm also hearing something about time travel. So some of you also, whoever needs to hear this, again, this is general. Some of you are actually time travelers. Um, so you may want to look into that gift. Some of some indications of that could be tinnitus, like hearing ringing in the ears, nosebleeds. Um, you know, some of you are traveling in your dreams at night, doing you know, going to different realms as well, um, and doing work or learning or something like that. So if you find yourself sleeping all night and waking up more tired than when you went to bed, you're probably um, either astral traveling traveling through realms at night, traveling through dimensions at night, or maybe even during the day sometimes. And some of you are time travelers tapping into this gift and just realizing it. So you, some of you may be in the spiritual process, not all of you, this is whoever needs to hear it, general reading. So whoever this resonates with, some of you are tapping into this gift and this ability, and maybe some of you will even be more in alignment with it again within six to nine months, not saying, I don't know what your question was necessarily, but that's kind of an added message additionally to whatever it is you were asking about that's coming to fruition within six to nine months. So um, let's go ahead and get your closeout message, card two with the Aminti Oracle. Truth be told, I am forgiving. So some forgiveness work is definitely hard, called for. Whether it's forgiving yourself, like forgiving the old versions of you that maybe didn't make the best choices or maybe didn't fully understand, um, or whether it is um, forgiving somebody else along the way in your journey, um, forgiving certain experiences, there's a need to call for I to be forgiving in order to have this manifestation and breakthrough so that you can become this new version of self. Um, for some of you, this is even about forgiving other people who know not what they do, if that makes sense, whoever needs to hear that. So for some of you, this is forgiving other people who don't have that sense of self-awareness. So um, they act in maybe hurtful or hateful ways. For some of you, this is also tied to um, generational tribal trauma that needs to be forgiven um, and so, so that the trauma loops can come to an end. This applies to family trauma, trauma as well. And again, like I said, some of you need to be forgiving of self for things that you have done. So take what resonates, release what doesn't. Um, that for the card two, um, if this reading resonate, resonated, you're always welcome to tip by buying me a coffee. The information on where you can go to do that is below in the description. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and share in the comments how this video resonated with you. I'll talk to you another time. Bye, card two. Hey guys, those of you who chose card three with the protection candle, let's go ahead and see when is it going to happen, if it is to happen, because future is not set in stone, energy is always changing. When is it going to happen when it comes to whatever it is you're asking about your inquiry? <clears throat> let's see what's going on, truth be told.
tap into that in a moment. Let's see what else comes through. Okay, so first of all, to answer your question, they're saying if it is to happen, it would happen sometime next year. So from whatever, whatever next year is, from whenever you are seeing this video, it's if it is to happen, it's more likely to happen sometime next year. Now, the first message pulled was unlikely and divine protection. So what I'm hearing from spirit is that they're saying that it's unlikely to happen when you're hoping it will or as soon as you hope it will, because there's divine protection involved within it. Um, that as to why the timing wasn't right. So just trust it. Um, and you are divinely protected in these changes as well that are coming ahead sometime next year but also for some of you remember this is a general reading so take what resonates release what doesn't for some of you, you may need to know and understand that what you're asking about it may just be unlikely to happen all together so for so maybe take into account the question you're asking and take into account the history or um like if there's been certain patterns at play that may indicate a certain continuous um energy then what you're asking about is unlikely to happen and if that's the case for you then there's a reason why it's not and there it's divine protection involved for for it and you will understand and know why that is so and those of you we hear their alarm going off those of you who need to hear that you will understand the reasons why it's better that it unlikely happened you will understand why sometime next year. But let's go ahead and see what other messages are coming through for you guys who chose um, card three. Yeah, card three, because I almost forgot. And there's an important message coming through because my watch just went off. And um, they just heard, like, Spirit is saying that they've been sending you reminders. I'm hearing them say that they, they've been sending you reminders of your potential and and the what you can be and it's time to to notice these signs to notice these reminders these um and also their spirit is missing you reminders in terms of like what not to settle for anymore what not to do anymore pay attention is what i heard them say so let's go ahead and see let's get your tarot message now card three what else do you need to know when it comes to all of this truth be told and again, remember this is a general reading, so if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information on where you can go to do that will be below in the description. Okay, so your your message is news of inspiration. This actually came up in another deck. I want to say, um, I want to say it was card two. So if you have time after this, you may want to go ahead and listen to um, the message for card two as well, because some of it may apply to you um, in regards to this this particular card message. But also um, the other other messages within it may apply as well to you. So you may want to listen to that as well. Um, those of you who chose card two and three, you may want to listen to both groups, basically. Um, and that time frame may also apply to you as well. But either way, it may or may not. Just know that everything's going to make sense to you sometime next year, sometime next year from whenever you're watching this video. Um, so Muse of Inspiration, I believe this is like Ace of Wands energy. So you guys are needing to incorporate all versions of self, the past version of self and the new version of self or past version and new version, however you're seeing it, to go down a new path, a new road. Some of you may also have a special connection to Egypt or ancient um, Kemetic culture or e Egyptian deities that um, you're being called to work with at this time. A lot of you need to follow your passion or listen to the fire from within is what I'm hearing. Um, and this is a new message I'm hearing for you guys, card three. You need to listen to the fire from within. And you guys also chose the protection candle. So fire energy is really heavy with card three that's different from card two because some of you, this is anger that needs to be released and healed. And some of you need to use anger for inspiration, basically channel it into becoming a better version of you or channeling it to make your goals happen. You know what I mean? Um, some of you have new ideas flowing. Some of you have a lot of 
um, sensual energy as well. But remember, sensual energy is also creative energy. So using that to your advantage to manifest, um, to manifest your desires. So instead of just focusing on something that may feel good in the moments, if you get my understanding, focus on what you want to call in and manifest in those moments. Um, some of you need to learn to tap into what makes you happy, your passions, and then follow that. Follow your passion, follow your inspiration, tap into your fire power, um, and know that you're divinely protected. We had the message of divine protection, and you also chose the protection candle. So if you've been feeling unsafe for some reason, or if you have been feeling like somebody's projecting the evil eye towards you, or if you feel like you just are not fully protected on this journey and the choices you're making know that you are divinely protected your guides your angels your ancestors your guardians they are protecting you they're sending you divine protection along this along the journey at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of emotions which is the seven of cups energy so um you also have fish with you as one of your animal guides so you guys may want to look up the spiritual meaning for a fish um so a lot of you need to flow more you know fish what's cool is that water represents emotions and so you know water can be calm and relaxing but water can also be turbulent and even dangerous at times so either way the fish can navigate through it so I feel like this is why Spirit is also saying you're divinely protected in the journey regardless because you can navigate through these waves. You can navigate through the ups and downs of the emotions. Um, and Seven of Emotions, Seven of Cups energy is also about remembering that you have the power to choose how you handle your emotions at this time. You have the power to, um, you know, you can't control others, but you can control how you handle things. And remember to choose wisely what's worth your time, which what's your heart, which what is worth your heart moving forward and i also i'm hearing them talk about how um you need to make sure that your heart is still in it that you're still passionate about something um or not and if you're not then in, then go on a different path if you are then continue on that path um some of you your third eye is opening up even further um because i keep wanting to touch my forehead so uh work on your clairvoyant energy um work on ways to open in and, and touch in touch base with your third eye and on the bottom of the deck here i have the six of materials which is six of pentacles and so i do get this energy of things blossoming and blooming for you um it's going to take time but spirit is saying also to to make sure that you're not settling for breadcrumbs or handouts but make sure that if you want something like there's a difference between settling for a handout and like expecting a handout then um being okay with accepting divine help or being okay with being in receptive mode and allowing the universe to bless you with gifts whether those gifts are coming from the universe whether those gifts are opportunities being presented whether it's somebody buying you a lunch for example or giving you know your friends helping you, your family helping you there's a difference between basically spirit is saying don't block your blessings accept the gifts that are coming your way the spirit is giving you but at the same time don't expect handouts you still have to do a certain level of work and that energy of manifesting it and go getting it yourself you know what i mean it's not there's no knight in shining armor that's gonna come and just fix everything for you it takes work you got to do the self-work for things to blow to groom to bloom um maybe i said groom for a reason because maybe there's a certain level of re-grooming yourself that needs to happen as well for this breakthrough and then also i'm hearing them talking about you will see your rewards in divine timing sometime next year um so let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through with the archer's love deck and remember that this deck is not just about romantic love it's also about the vibration the energy of love in all things and moving from the vibration of love it's also about self-love but it could be romantic as well and i already have some jumper cards so let's go with these bottom of the deck is the message of reconnection some of you i'm hearing that you need to reconnect with self and old versions of self that maybe that you used to do that but no longer do as long as these old versions of self are helping you become a better version of you 
Some of you even need to reconnect with the old version of self that needs healing so that you can become a better version of you. Some of you will be seeing reconnection with other people or groups of people that are needed, getting back to it, whether that's friends, family, a community, culture, going back to a sense of culture or learning about it. And, and also some of you are going to be reconnecting with like something that you find joy in, like a, like a hobby or an interest or um, someplace you used to go to. Now you're going to go back there and reconnect someplace you maybe you need to visit again. But also the messages were happy. Embrace your happiness now is what I'm saying. Follow what makes you happy. And if something is no longer making you happy, it's okay to let it go. You're divine protect, divinely protected. I'm also feeling like you're going to see more happiness, even more happiness sometime next year um, from whenever you're seeing this video. Career driven. A lot of you are career driven or maybe somebody involved in the dynamic is career driven and you just need to have understanding and respect for that. But make sure that how you're moving, how you're navigating, make sure it's based in love that the, the decisions, the energy is based in love, that you actually love it or love them or that they actually love it, love you or what they do. Like just really questioning these things. Is it coming based in love or is it coming from ego? Is it coming from fear? Is it coming from insecurity and anxiety? Is it coming from control or manipulation? Is it coming from a trauma bond or is it based in love? You guys need to be questioning this. But I do feel like more of what you do in the path that you're on is going to be from a place based in love sometime next year and that's why they keep saying you're divinely protected in this journey process but also to listen to what your emotions are telling you so that you can choose wisely um let's go ahead and get your closeout message for card three with the aminti oracle <clears throat> truth be told And again, a reminder to, if you have time, to listen to card two, I believe it was, as well. I am humble is your message. So, what I'm hearing from this is that for some of you, not to get too caught up in the ego side of things or the materialistic view of things or um, to like a hierarchy of things or to even see yourself as above above anyone or anything because spirit is wanting you to remember to remain humble again this is general so take a resonance and release what doesn't for some of you you already already are there's my stutter again I stutter sometimes when I'm channeling so somebody wants to speak through right now obviously from a place of unconditional love and so sometimes I'm hearing that this is going to be very direct and blunt so just keep that in mind off love based in love so some of you need to humble yourself down before spirit humbles you some of you think that you you're you're getting too cocky or you're getting too caught up in the the matrix world of things and comparing yourself to others and what they've got it's like that Instagram culture. Some of you need to understand that that's not real life and that people are just out here projecting things that aren't true. And so don't get caught up on that. Humble yourself and reconnect with you so that you can manifest better for yourself sometime next year. Others of you, I'm hearing that you are being way too humble. I am humble. And you need to like give yourself more props. You need to see yourself as more of that goddess or god like energy. You need to like know that, you know, you are worthy. You are amazing. You're being way too humble. You're not giving yourself enough credit. So whoever needs to hear whatever message, take what resonates, release what doesn't. Um, know that there's always more learning. I'm hearing that some of you think you're an expert in something um, and that nobody's... It's hard. That's debatable. Is anybody truly an expert when everybody is still always learning? There's always more learning to do. No one is perfect. You know, there's always more. There's always more lessons. So some of you need to humble yourself down a little bit. Um, and remember that everyone started somewhere. Uh, and once you humble yourself down a bit, then again, these lessons can come through that will take you to even higher heights from a place based 
and love and when you have love for others and some of you need to remember that other people are in the beginnings of their journey that you have already accomplished so have compassion for them you may not have patience for them but have compassion for them <laughs> and for others of you like i said you are being too humble you it's really really important that you tap into more of your confidence and that is something within this transition your self-love is going to be big for you um and tapping into more of your confidence and your worth and you'll see some more of those results as to tapping into more of your happiness and tapping into more of your success and prosperity coming sometime next year so um and remember that we all need to remain humble in this journey of life because there's always more learning to do you know no one has the only right way or the only right formula um to no no one no one is 100 percent correct all the time you know what i mean hopefully i'm making sense nobody has all the answers nobody there's always still lessons to be learned so remain humble in this life's journey if that makes sense because there's always going to be ups and downs and change so again you guys may want to listen to card two after this as well um if this reading resonated you can always tip by buying me a coffee the information on where you can go to do that is below in the description remember to subscribe like comment and share and comment below how it resonated with you and i'll talk to you next time bye card three hey card four those of you who chose Horus. Let's go ahead and see when is it going to happen, if it is to happen, because future is not set in stone, energy is always changing. So, and also a message for those of you who chose card four, some of you need to see the truth clearly or to look at the reality of things. Take that however it resonates with you. Truth be told. And also just trust your psychic vision. For those that chose card four, when is it going to happen? If it is to happen, truth be told. I'm going to be pulling further messages after this timeline also. So your message is in your summer season. So whenever your upcoming or current summer season is, is when you're likely to see this happen if it is to happen because future is not set in stone energy is always changing and that is from whatever date you're seeing this so you may want to take notes um you may want to write in a notebook or a journal from today's date whenever you're seeing this video that it's likely to happen in your summer season um or maybe write it in your phone and then email it to yourself or something like that so in your summer season let's go ahead and see And I just heard Spirit say things will be heating up. Makes sense too with the energy of summer, but things will be heating up. However, you want to take that. Things will be heating up, moving, going. A lot of sun energy, divine masculine energy coming through as well. So, a lot of changes, a lot of action being taken, a lot of movement happening, either symbolic movements in terms of actions or the direction things are going, or even when or even um, in terms of like movement, in terms of travel or relocating. For some of you, again, this is general, take or resonates, release what doesn't. If you wanna book a personal reading with me, the information on where you're gonna do that will be below in the description. I'm also seeing this bird for you, card four. It, it looks like a crane. I don't know for sure if it was a crane, but so you may want to look up the spiritual symbolism of a crane, but it, it, it looks like a crane. So I feel like this is a message for you guys for some reason. It could be one of the spirit animals with you right now. Let's see what else is going on. With your tarot. The lovers is your message. So, and look at those wings up there. Bird energy, but also... Um, guardian angel energy is what I'm hearing. So like an ancestor or a loved one on the side, on the, um, on the other side that has already transitioned is helping you out and is with you now, but will also be with you very heavy in the summer season. They're showing you love. They're sending you love. They're sending you messages. I'm going to continue with this message in a moment, but I want to look at the bottom first because and this is probably why it is the message of the devil. 
so um you guys really need to transmute your fear transmute your ego transmute your trauma transmute um your addictions or your obsessions even your obsessive thoughts and worries into something positive into becoming a better version of yourself or wanting better for yourself into making your goals happen into seeking the healing or asking for help if you need it as well because you see this butterfly this butterfly here is like on fire and i just take that as you guys are going through a transformation process remember when i said things are going to heat up i feel like that's happening for some of you so you guys really need to work through it however it resonates with you your work through the temptations in terms of like not going back to the things that are not good for you any further so that you can become this better version of yourself and maybe that's why your guardian angel is also with you right now in terms of looking deeper into the choices that you make and especially when it comes to your relationships and this could be romantic this could be romantic for some of you this could also be business or partnerships or friendships or even family like spirit is saying a lot of you need to um look deeper into your decision making in terms of relationships and why 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 there's a certain energy that keeps um repeating in your life or maybe looking into why you why certain things happened in the past what purpose did those experiences serve to get to where you are now so that you can continue to move in a direction that's better for you moving forward with or without certain people in your life um because some of you are struggling with codependency um or as uh I think, he, I think his name is Dr. Ross Rosenberg. He wrote a book called The Human Magnet Syndrome, which I recommend. Um, he has recoined, and I'm sorry for the outside noise, they're cutting grass. Um, he, I think he, I think recoined the term self-love deficit instead of saying codependency. So some of you have self-love deficit energy. Again, I'm not diagnosing anybody, I'm not a, um, therapist i'm not a psychiatrist but this is just the energy i'm sensing so some of you may actually want to seek professional help professional therapy if you find yourself in some of these loops um but that only applies to some of you like i said this is general take what resonates release what doesn't some of you in summary basically the energy is just that you're giving into that devil energy instead of practicing self-love that you need to be practicing um in, in terms of like looking for uh, validation in others looking for recognition in others whether that's needing attention from like social media or likes or subscribes to feel better or feel like you're worthy spirit is saying you're already worthy you don't need those things whether it's looking for love in all the wrong places with relationships or trying to recreate a relationship that find yourself in similar patterns and relationships because you're trying to fix one that hurt you a long time ago subconsciously whether it is you know how you connect with friends or family even if it's your relationship with yourself you know have more self-love heal the self-love deficit going back to all that being said going back to and block block that you see her arms are crossed and it's like she's blocking something it's kind of like spirit is saying block the things that are um draining you block that unhealthy energy the toxic vibes toxic environment toxic relationships toxic mindset whatever it is the lovers you know again your decision making in terms of understanding that relationships are mirrors if you don't like the reflection what can you change starting with yourself if you love the reflection then you are on a good path so take what resonates with that message i do have a youtube video up of, that is that is called relationship our mirrors or something like that so you may want to watch that card for also some of you are going to understand more of the lessons of what true love is and what true love is not in your summer season some of you are going to have more of a love for uh like a passion or a project or something you want to create in your summer season some of you are just going to be having more love of life and learning to love life now in your summer season and some of you yes you will have more romantic love in your summer season so again take what resonates release what doesn't 
a lot of these things will apply to whatever your question was initially. So let's go ahead and jump into the Archer's Love Oracle. Remember, this is love from the energy of love, the vibration of love. It could also be self-love or it could be romantic love. It's not all just romantic love, whatever messages need to come through for those of you who chose card four. Okay. Okay, so we have a no. Sorry, it's upside down no and other obligations are the messages so i think spirit is saying that maybe that no is not the time for something or no you're not seeing that breakthrough just yet because there's other obligations at play whether it's other obligations things that you need you need to be handling or looking into or healing first or getting done like getting your priorities in check or whether it's somebody else involved that needs, they have other obligations. So no, they can't do it right now or the breakthrough can't happen right now um, because of these other obligations. Um, for some of you, this is also a message of no, don't even worry. Um, d or no, don't even go down that fearful road again. Some of you, that's a message for you and you will understand things in your summer season so again take what resonates release what doesn't this is general if you want to book a personal reading the information will be below in the description let's get your closeout message for card four um with the Aminti oracle i just want to note again maybe this is already for you guys because we have the feathers here and there's a feather on the top of this card as well and the message here is I advanced through my own abilities and I feel like this was for you guys for a reason and it was upside down when I was holding it at first meaning it was reversed so you guys are not going back to that message of needing more self-love or that message of healing self-love deficit um, or even codependency on others or codependency on a substance or codependency on a environment or a job or something that's not serving you time to practice more self-love deficit and open and work on your third eye that has been trying to show you messages and know that the advancement to that next level to that breakthrough that's going to come in your summer season is coming through your own abilities of your own doing of your own choices of you doing the work of you asking for the help of you doing the research nobody can save you in this only you you do have divine support and help though through your guardian angels your ancestors your guides your loved ones on the other side from source but know that this is a change that you're gonna have to do and make for yourself and you see how she has a, a necklace on with a green heart for your heart chakra yes you want to make sure that you are moving in terms of a path that you genuinely love you want to love the life that you live you want to love who you are now you want to love yourself first and this is the journey that you're going to be on and getting to um, before you begin to see some of those results and the breakthrough in your summer season so um and also work on healing your heart chakra energy but let's get another message because i didn't that was already there but let's just see what else comes through for card four that was way too many <laughs> spirit has a lot of messages coming for you pay attention to the signs they say signs symbols and synchronicities i respect the property of others is a message here for you so what i'm feeling from this energy is just that don't envy and don't be jealous of what others have and also just to give an example some of you this may apply to you some of it some of you this may not and if it doesn't then just take it as an example like let's say someone else has a luxury car and you feel envious of it and part of you want like you may not do it intentionally but you like give hater energy towards that respect the property of others what's for you will be for you if you can find appreciation or be happy for that person and maybe switch your perspective and see that wow if they can get it i can get it too in my own timing in my own way once i practice my own self-value self-worth self-love then you can you know get your own it may not be the exact same thing but it'll be your own and it will be for you for some of you another example is just like the energy of like 
you once you are either involved with somebody else's uh, partner like let's say somebody you're involved you're the third party in a in a love triangle or you're the third party in with somebody who has a whole other relationship that they are actually given the title and commitment to that person respect the property of others keep that in mind um these are just examples again so if it resonates with you then that message is for you and if not then just see it as an example for this energy that you need to take on respect the properties of, of others what's for you will be for you in your divine timing everyone is on their own timing everyone is on their own schedule your blessings will be for you so stop envying stop being jealous of other people's blessings and what they have stop comparing because once you have the self-awareness and self-love for you and do the work in your summer season you can have your own blessings in your own version that was meant for you that are meant for you and in your highest good respect the property of others this also it goes this also goes for um intellectual ideas intellectual property so you may like how someone else is doing something but don't just straight up copy somebody else's idea and hard work do your own channel your own you can use it as inspiration but just don't full on copy. You need to do your own version of things because somebody had to do the self work for them to get to that place. You know what I mean? But every, you know, everyone is inspired by someone. You know, a lot of people have this energy of thinking that they're the original of something or that they're the first to do something. And that's not necessarily true either. Likely you're channeling a message or had the idea because somebody else, somewhere else in time at some point had it too. But you need to still make it your own and do your own work and not just completely plagiarize an idea. So some of you need to hear that. Do your own process, do your own work, respect the property of others. That includes intellectual property as well. Um, also, I'm hearing respect the space that people are in. I know uh, respect the place, the space and the place that other people are in because not everybody's going to be in the same space or place with you at the same time in terms of being on the same page. Some of you need to understand that someone or something is on a different page and maybe, or maybe it's a matter of timing. Like you're not in the right space or place for what you're asking for because you're on a different timeline than what the universe knows is divine timing for you. So respect that as well is what i'm hearing for this also i'm also hearing that spirit, spirit wants you to know there's more to enough to go around you can all have a piece of the blessings in your own timing in your own way once you stop trying to um get or take what is for somebody else or take what belongs to somebody else yours is coming in divine timing so so let the other stuff go you know what i mean um yeah <laughs> and remember it's all going to come together or make sense at some point if it's to happen in your summer season if this reading resonated with you you can always tip by buying me a coffee if you choose to the information is below in the description remember to subscribe like comment and share and comment below how this reading resonated with you that's what i have for you card four and i'll talk to you next time bye card four